So welcome to Blazing Gamer and in this video I'll be going over the switch case statement on, of the Java. Uh, in the last video we went over if if else statements and talked a little about precedence. So in this video we'll be going over the switch statement. So the switch statement works on a value of a variable. So if I just define a variable c equal to six and I define switch and uh, we pass in one variable or it basically works more on variables so if i pass switch on c so now what i can do is i have defined this switch would be on c and i can give case so case one if i type this now we don't need that so if i type this so um, it means switch c if value of c is 1 then do something we can do like a print sop 1 and if you want to finish the case you just type break then we can give another case if equals 6 we do something we just print 6 and give a break now if you don't give the break all of these will be executed like um, if the case one is true then this would be executed then this case will also be checked by logic only one of these cases may be true but still the break would check this and there's one more thing in switch case which is the default now the default just print default is executed when none of the cases uh, are true so if we don't put break here let's just remove it and uh, we'll type as sop here okay that would be the default and we put the sim the symbol after the case so if i just run this and run as you can see six is executed because there's a break if i just remove this break also we'll, that we will be able to show what break does as you can see the six is executed and even the default is printed which i have typed wrong but that doesn't matter so what break does is it basically whenever the break is encountered in the code it comes out of the scope like it comes out of these curly braces which is the scope of this code so break is necessary whenever you are making these cases and break should be the last thing done in the case okay so i'll just add this breaks back and default is something that would be executed if all of the cases fail so i just put these two either it would be case one or case two but don't read them as case so this is like switch on c case one uh, switch on c if c is equal to one do this switch on c if c is equal to two do this and if none of these are true do the default thing so we we'll just run this let's control shift f10 and the default is printed so switch case can be very powerful the same can be attained with if else but this is more cleaner than if else you can literally like if c equals to one do this if else if c equals to two do this else do this that is also possible but this is a cleaner more comprehensive way to write such kind of control flow so i hope you learned something in this video and please do leave a rating and any reviews that you might want to give and in the next videos we'll be going over loops the first one with the for loop so please subscribe to be notified when i update upload that and thanks for watching